Hello everybody, this is going to be a demonstration of Spherely, the web app built on top of the Blockly block programming language to control the Sphero robot ball. Sphero itself is a robotic ball that you can control with your smartphone or tablet, and the intent of this project is to create a web interface for users to programmatically connect to and control the robots. After starting the app and being directed to the web page that controls the app, you are presented with a screen where you can what you want to do first is press the select address button to try to see if you can connect to your Sphero. Here you go, we've got two Spheros here because we're dealing with the version 1 and version 2. And I've selected the first Sphero and we're going to try to connect to it. Um, your Sphero, when it's on, should be blinking various colors and when it's connected it will turn a bright white-ish blue color. Um, and the client web client should tell you that the connection was successful or unsuccessful, in this case successful. Once you've connected to the ball, you can use the blocks on the left to create a program to tell the Sphero to do something. Now we're just going to simply tell it to roll forward. You can click the run button to tell the Sphero to do whatever the blocks tell it to do. Now instead of just rolling forward, we're going to tell the Sphero to roll forward, turn 180 degrees at about face, um, and then roll back in the opposite direction. So to achieve that, we can do that with the blocks on the left. So you want to first roll forward, like before, then wait one second, stop rolling, um, and then we'll want to wait again after you stop, this time for half a second. Um, if you run this now, you should just see it move forward for a second and then stop. Um, but now we need to make it actually turn around. Um, so we're going to do that inside of a loop so that it'll turn back and forth um, and complete the cycle once. So we want to turn 180 degrees and move this entire block over until the repeat section so not only will it roll forward once and then turn around but it will actually roll back the second time. Taking this one step further, um, instead of just turning back and forth, let's now tell the Sphero to actually turn in a full square. This is going to be achieved at first uh, by having a very similar sequence of blocks. We're going to roll forward, wait, and then stop. Um, and now, instead of turning 180 degrees, since we want to roll in a square, we're going to turn 90 degrees. Um, so we're going to wait after that, so Sphero has a second to calibrate itself afterwards. Um, and since we want to have this in a square motion, um, we're going to need to repeat this action four times, rolling forward, stopping, and then turning 90 degrees. So we can put that in another repeat block for four times um, and go ahead and run it. The Sphero Ball also has the ability to detect when it runs into something and report that back to whatever application is controlling it. So we're going to take advantage of that feature here to make another program that's going to tell the ball to move forward um, and then turn back around and roll in the other opposite direction. However, instead of just doing that uh, with a certain set distance, we're going to initially turn the Sphero green, make it roll forward for an indefinite amount, and then whenever it detects a collision, we want to change the color to red, stop rolling, wait for half a second, um, make it turn back around the direction it came from, and then go ahead and roll back. So what we should get by running this is having the Sphero roll for a little bit until it runs into a wall or something else, and then stop, um, and then roll back. Sphero sometimes has a little bit trouble with detecting collisions with itself when it's turning on hard surfaces. But it gets there eventually. When you're done programming the Sphero, you can go ahead and turn it off right from the client. This has just been a small demonstration of some of the things that can be achieved with Spherely, the block programming Sphero robot ball application. Hope you enjoyed.